Hi guys, Pierre Janelle here on the Scrappineers blog today. I've shown you some examples of really cool, creative paper layouts using negative cutouts. And I want to show you today how you can get the basic idea to create a negative cutout layout on your own digitally using Photoshop. So here um, I'm just kind of showing you what it is we're going to do. I have this example of this pink paper where I have cut all of these hearts out of it digitally and then used um, other digital papers to make it look like there are different hearts underneath. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, now here, all I've done here is taken my custom shape tool, which if you go to your shape tool down here, you can right click on it and go to custom shape tool. And then you can go up to your shapes and select which shape you would like to use. I just chose the default heart because I would hope that that would be one that was on all of your programs that you could use. And then once you've done that, you can either select a fixed size. Uh, I did an inch and a half by an inch and a half, or you can do it any size you want. It really doesn't matter. Um, okay. I'm going to line this up here and if you hold down the alt key and then drag your cursor as you click on top of that layer it will create a copy for you I'm going to do that again alt and drag alt and drag alt and drag and now I want all of these to be even I want them to be lined up so I'm going to go ahead and turn on my grids here by going to view extras and then show grids. I have mine set up so that there is, let me zoom in a little bit here. There is a divider uh, at every inch and then there are four subdivisions within the inch. So every quarter inch here, I'm seeing a square. And what I want to do is just make sure that my right sides and my left sides match. So it looks like I've got an inch and a quarter here and an inch and a quarter here. That's perfect. I don't need to worry about changing anything. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off those grids by clicking again on show grids. And now I'm going to select all of those layers, all of the hearts that I've just created by selecting the top and then shift to the bottom. And then I'm going to come up here and say distribute horizontal centers. And that will just make sure that everything is um, perfect that there's equal distance apart from each heart which is what I want it doesn't have to be what you do but I want it to be the same now what I'm gonna do you in order to um, do this next step you have to make sure that all of your layers are rasterized so I'm gonna select all my layers by clicking on the top layer dragging my cursor down to the bottom and you do want to include your paper layer it needs to be rasterized also and then I'm going to right click and say rasterize layers and that will allow me to do what we need to do when we're cutting stuff out. All right, let's go ahead and start with this black heart right here. You can start anywhere. It certainly does not matter. I'm going to select my magic wand tool and I can do that by clicking up here on the wand or I can push W and then I'm going to go over here and click on my first heart. Now you can see that my heart is selected, which is exactly what I want. Make sure you click inside the heart. If you click on the outside, you're actually selecting everything except the heart. So make sure you click on the inside of the heart and then you're gonna drag down to your layers here to the bottom and you're gonna select your piece of paper because your paper is what you are wanting to cut the heart out of. So I'm gonna go back over here with my magic wand on top of the heart, right click, and say layer via cut. Not copy, cut. And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and select the next heart. And I can do that by hitting the V key and then clicking the heart that I want and then switching back to the magic wand. By again, you can push this or push W. And I'm going to click on it. And again, I have to go back down to the paper layer click on the paper, come over to my heart, right click and say layer via cut. 
Now it may seem tedious, it may seem like there are a lot of steps and I'm trying to go slow to make sure that you catch them, but this is, it's easy. It's very, very easy and it's rhythmic. Once you get a process going, uh, it won't take you long to finish it all. It just, I'm trying to go slow to make sure you can see what I'm doing and that you can follow along if you want to. So again, I need to select my next heart. Magic wand tool using my W. Click on the heart. And then I'm going to select my background paper and right click layer via cut. And we're going to do this just a few more times. Don't worry, I won't do all of the hearts. I just want to give you an idea um, of how you can make this work for you. Magic wand, select your paper, right click layer via cut. And I'm going to go back to my selection tool so I can grab this last heart, switch to my magic wand again with the W, click on the inside of the heart, back down to select the paper, right click inside, and layer via cut. Okay, now I want to take this piece of paper, my pink piece of paper, and I'm going to move it all the way to the top. I can do that by doing Control Shift and your right bracket, and that will jump it to the top, no problem. Now I also need to turn off these heart layers because they were just the shapes that I used to cut out. They're not what I actually want to work with. All right, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do so that you can see the definition of the cutout a little better, you can see kind of just barely in here, you can see the white outline and edge of some of the cutouts. Now we really want to define this. We want to make sure that we can see um, that they are cut out. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to select one of my drop shadows. And I'm going to give it a, that style. Yeah, let's see. if Do I like it a little smaller? No, I actually like it about that. I think that's great. Um, because then if I wanted to come in and put buttons or something on top of the hearts under here, that would be, that would be a great shadow for that. Okay, now I've got all of these hearts that are cut out. I'm going to hit my V key or my move tool and I'm going to select my first heart. Now what I want to do, um, you know, as great as these pink hearts are, it doesn't, it doesn't really give it a lot of definition or depth. I want something different. I want more patterns or different colors or just something to add to this layout. So I'm going to go ahead and file and place and I'm gonna choose a new paper that I can that I can uh, throw down on top here so let's go ahead I like this purple newspaper I think that's kind of fun okay now I don't want it all the way across I really just liked it for that first heart so if I come over here I can hold down my alt key and wait until you see that symbol and click and it will clip it to your layer. You could also just hit Control Alt G and again Control Alt G and that will clip and unclip the paper to the layer that you've selected. Now let's do a different one. I'm going to choose the second heart right here. File and place. I do place. Some people just drag them in from Bridge or they've already got them open um, in other Photoshop files. That's that's totally fine. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It's all personal preference. I'm going to go ahead and put this flower in there. I like that. And again, clipping it to the heart by hitting Control-Alt-G. Let's do another one here. File, place. Um, this is kind of fun. I like this funky orange. I don't know. The pink might be too much. Yeah, you know what? It's too much. I don't like it. So we're going to find a different one. Uh, let's try this one right here. Yeah, okay. That's fun. I like it. Control Alt G. And let's do another one. Place. I just did kind of a white paper, so I'd like to do something with a little bit more color in it. Let's try this plaid. And Control Alt G to clip it to that heart. You know what? I may move this around a little bit to get rid of some of the, the pink there. And I can even shrink it down. Let's shrink it. 
and uh, yeah okay and then I'm going to grab this last heart and once again go to file and place and this time let's try let's try this white paper right here white looks like a grid or a ledger almost okay and there we go so now I have this layout with these paper hearts cut out underneath um, underneath my main layer here and you can see if I turn this off all that's showing are the paper hearts because I've clipped my um, my different scrapbooking papers to those heart shapes so that's all you're gonna see there um, which I like that I think that looks that looks kind of fun now I wouldn't probably just do this I would probably put in some more rows and um, let's see all of those white hearts that I had got hidden when I dragged the pink paper to the bottom so if I select all those white hearts that you saw at the very beginning and then again with the control shift and the right bracket bring them to the top I could do the same thing and I could um, grab a layer grab my magic wand come over here select my heart and again I could make another cutout by hitting on the paper and then coming over to the heart and right clicking with a magic wand tool layer via cut now uh, just for the heck of it I'm gonna take that paper back to the top and you can see that I've got another row there of hearts that I could start so I'm gonna grab that heart and let's throw another paper down here okay but you can see how that can be kind of fun you can do it with all sorts of shapes um, and obviously it doesn't have to be hearts anything in your custom shapes you can do circles you can make patterns you can do letters actually let's do that really quickly if I wanted to make a title here let's get me a nice big nice big font here so that you guys can see it and yes I, I know I have way too many fonts but I love fonts and I keep collecting them so that's all right let's see uh, this will be a good one for you to be able to see let's make it even bigger though okay and I'm gonna bring this layer to the top above the pink paper so that you can excuse me you can see it and there we go title center it really quickly not that it matters and now we can use our magic wand tool to select the title I'm actually going to click on the outside of the title so that I don't have to highlight every single letter um, and then if I right click on any of those I can tell it to select the inverse of what it selected you can see right now with the marching ants it's got everything outside of the text so I'm going to select the inverse and it will grab just the text and then I can go back to my pink paper here come over and right click layer via cut and I'm going to turn off the title here and bring this up and above so that it's not on top I gotta turn off that layer there too and there you go now you have a cutout title so you can do that with any font uh, and it will work just the same um, anyways I hope that you enjoyed this lesson on cutouts it's really really easy technique uh, can add a lot of fun depth and definition to your pages so I hope you'll give it a try let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them thanks guys